Hello and welcome to the Consistia the Kirk YouTube channel. I'm your host for this video, Reverend Jake Zabel, the St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church located in Dolby, Queensland, Australia, a member of the Confessional Orthodox Evangelical Lutheran Communion, or COELC for short. On today's video, I want to have a bit of a kind of, I don't know, just chat about something that I call the dangers of semi-heresy. And generally, I just want to talk about the fact that Semi-heresy is worse than outright heresy. And I don't really have much of a plan or a script for this video. I'm just going to go off the cuff and just talk about this idea. So I'm going to go to a bit of a ramble. But the idea is that semi-heresy is worse than full-blown heresy because it creates a counterfeit Christianity that people aren't able to easily distinguish. See, if I give you Monopoly money and say, here you go, here's, here's $50, you're going to look at me like, you're an idiot, this is Monopoly money, I can't spend this, this is fake. But, if I get you a counterfeit $50, and I give that to you, unless you really know how to determine what is counterfeit and what's not counterfeit, you're just going to assume that's a real $50 note. And this is how it goes with semi-heresy versus full-on heresy. If I was to teach full-on Pelagianism, you would notice that and you would reject it. But, as we see in the Roman Catholic Church, they taught semi-Pelagianism, and it snuck into the Church. Also, the Arminians teach decision theology, which is itself a form of semi-Pelagianism, and it has picked up quite a lot of popularity in the Church. Um, you can have Nestorianism, this idea that the two natures of Christ is completely divided, and that's a heresy that's rejected. And if I started teaching that, you would see it as heresy. Yet the Calvinists have this semi-Nestorianism in which the two natures of Christ are essentially divided in, well, in action, where they'll say things like, oh, only the man or human side of Christ died, and only the divine side of Christ is allowed to be prayed to. And so they are essentially teaching Nestorianism, but since it's a semi-form, it sneaks in through the church, and many people aren't aware of that. And this happens a lot in the church. If I were to just go ahead and start saying like, oh, women's ordination is fine, you would say, Jake, you're wrong. Women can't be pastors. But if I start allowing women to do this or that in the church and say, well, maybe we'll let women vote and then we'll let women read Bible readings during the service and we'll let women lead services, you don't notice the changes as much and you don't, you're not as hesitant and not as uh, reactionary against these smaller forms of heresy, although they are heresy, or at least he heterodoxy, they're false teachings, and yet they sneak into the church. It's the idea of the boiling a frog. If you raise the temperature slowly, people aren't aware of it happening. And this is how semi-heresy is worse than full-on heresy. Because if somebody comes and there's a spouting full-on, full-blown heresy, you're going to notice it and you're not going to listen to them. But if they speak 90% the truth and the last 10% heresy, then that heresy sneaks into the church. And you don't notice it as much. See, if I just gave you a full glass of poison, you would taste it and you would spit it out and you wouldn't drink it. But if I give you a glass of water with a few drops of poison in it, you won't taste it and you'll drink the glass and it will kill you. This is why semi-heresy is worse than full-on heresy. And so we in the church need to stop being tolerant of these semi-heresy, these little issues. Because those little issues are actually more dangerous than the big issues like the Lutheran Church in Australia. To this day, it still doesn't ordain women. But slowly, after the last few decades, they've allowed women to do more and more in the church until the fact that they're essentially being women pastors. Women can get up and lead a lay reading service and preach a sermon during a lay reading service. Women can get up and help distribute Holy Communion. Women are essentially doing the functions of a pastor. They just can't be ordained as a pastor yet. And so, slowly and slowly, incrementally, little heresies has slipped into the church, into the fact that the church completely dies. Little drops of poison slowly will kill you. And if I gave you just straight poison, you wouldn't accept it. You know, if I gave you this, this green liquid bubbling poison, you're going to say, well, I'm not drinking that. 
but a few drops and you don't notice and it slowly kills you and you don't even realize what is killing you this is the danger of semi-heresy and that's kind of all I've got to say on the matter. I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye and God bless. Actually, I'll finish with one last point. Remind you that the scripture says a little leaven leavens the whole loaf. Little heresies leaven the whole loaf. A little heresy can destroy a church. Goodbye and God bless.